Hi guys, Ancient Warrior. Welcome back to Prepping in Free America. If you like what you hear here, hit the subscribe button. If you if you want to be the first kid on your block to know what craziness I'm talking about next, then hit the bell icon with all. Uh, guys, it's been hard today. I had to be torn away from watching watching Charlie's Angels and Battlestar Galactica. Welcome back, Cotter. Freddy and the Man. You know, all those great 1970s movies that I never watched in the 70s. My favorite mash. I'm sure it's yours too. So why am I talking about movies that happened in the 70s? Welcome back to the 70s, folks. I woke up this morning <clears throat> to my phone screaming and the uh, financial alert that I have set up said the Dow dropped 700 points. That was at uh, 7.45 my time, so 8.45 theirs up there. So I went ahead and had coffee, showered and had my coffee. Got me a little something for breakfast. And started looking Turned the computer on and started looking to see what they were talking about. The Dow's fine, but commodities are not. You see, commodities, every one of the commodities are in the red today. Now, why were they saying that the Dow slipped this morning? due to inflation. I also have, you know, the earning of the uh, labor rate was also downsized today. I think it was almost 500,000 getting jobs, now it's 473,000. Folks, these are the reasons we're prepping. Or at least the reason I'm prepping. Because you never know. I remember the 1970s. I was an adult. I was working. I was raising a family. I remember in 73 with the Arab oil embargo. Gas here went from 20, between 20 and 25 cents a gallon to 50 and 60 cents a gallon. I didn't know how I was going to make it. And then the rent started going up. You know, where I was paying. 60, 70, 80 dollars a month for an apartment and maybe a hundred, hundred and a quarter for a two-bedroom house. Guys, and then it started trickling up. Everything trickled up except one minor thing, my income. It's happening again, folks. I'm watching it. I'm telling you that what's going to happen is going to devastate this country. That's the reason when I tell you, and I'm going to show you a video sometime this next week of what I call the meat locker. 
basically all that's in there, basically all that's in that, uh, I'm watching a dog decide if he's going to jump, jump up on the patio or not. Uh, I'm going to show you that I, I plan just like you do. Next few days, I've got deliveries being made to me. We're going to do an, I think I'll probably do an unboxing video so that you can see how things come from MRE Depot. They're one of my, one of my frontline suppliers. So is, uh, Sportsman's Guide, Major Surplus, uh, Pleasant Valley Grain Company. You know, these are all companies I've done business with. Some companies are better in one area than others, and and all of them are great in one or two areas at least. <coughs> so I highly, I'll put a link when I do a video like that telling you where stuff came from. You know, we've got to wake up. When Joe Biden took office, Notice I haven't called him President Biden. When Joe Biden took office, he had a strong economy. We were not seeing a lot of problems in the Middle East. Matter of fact, people were actually getting along for a change. So what's the first thing the Hamas and Hezbollah got to do, they start lobbing rockets into, into uh, Israel. And they're lobbing rockets into Gaza, or from Gaza into Israel, but some of the rockets are not going as far as they'd like them to, because they're landing on their own people, and then they're blaming the Israelis. They're, they're saying the Israelis are bombing civilians, which I, I seriously doubt they are. You know, I, I know a lot of folks from Israel. I'm not Jewish, but I know a lot of folks from Israel, and they're good and decent people. Is their government good and decent? Well, probably better in better and more decent than most governments, including ours. So, folks, if you believe in prayer, that prayer works, pray for Israel. Pray for our safety, because we've got stuff going on in this country. You know, the reason I'm telling you it looks like the 70s again is because I saw pictures today of gas lines. In 73, we had gas lines everywhere. <laughs> but uh, with that being said, folks, remember, it's better to have this stuff and not need it than need it and not have it. I'm the Ancient Warrior, and we're out.